Lord, we give you thanks for the ministry of the prophets, for those men and women that throughout salvation history up to our day are the voice that speaks out in the desert of humanity, of the human heart, calling to conversion, penance, a return to the path and the light of God, to return to His love. That also entails to speak to us about the dangers we risk when we remove God from our lives and the life and the world and society. We give you thanks because in these last centuries, of great men and women prophets, mystics. You have given us the great prophet of all history, your Blessed Mother, who has come to so many places with the power of your word, Lord, and with the power of her maternal presence and of her maternal authority to call us to conversion, penance, sacrifice, to stop offending you. And she has come to speak to us like as a mother of the dangers that threaten when we set apart from you. A prophet is known by the authenticity of his words and by the fulfillment of his prophecies. We have seen it in her. And like St. John Diego, her first words were, where are you going? That's a great question that today our Blessed Mother asks our contemporary world to her sons and daughters, a world that has lost the path and orientation because it has lost the gaze in God the following of his commandments and the moral law. To where are you going? A question which is a sword for our hearts because we can direct ourselves towards life or towards the path of death, towards the path of good or towards the path of evil. That today, these words of Our Lady of Guadalupe pierce the hearts of all humanity. And it may be the question of our Advent, towards where am I going? Towards the manger to adore the child? Or am I so distracted from so many things that I don't even pay attention, that there's a star indicating that the Savior has been born. <laughs>